to the worst. So it's been about three hours since I last talked to you, and I'm in the <coughs> Metropolitan Lounge at the um, Chicago Union Station. To give you a bit of context what happened and why I look so stressed in the previous shot was um, the next train I was supposed to be catching from the Zephyr, which is supposed to leave about now, 6.40pm at the moment, um, the Capital Limited for tonight and maybe tomorrow has been cancelled because of a fire at Harpers Ferry, West Virginia. And that's for both ways. So for about an hour or so I was stranded. But I was lucky enough to get these tickets and I'm going further north than I ever thought I would. I'm going to New York City. <laughs> it's only for six hours, but yeah, tomorrow evening I'll be in New York and then at midnight that lot that night I get in on a train heading for Ashland. <sighs> so, big detour, but I had no other choice. So, yeah, I feel sorry for the Amtrak stuff that having to rebook so many people. Um, the other trouble is with this run, I've only got a coach seat now. So, it'll be an interesting night. And <laughs> I didn't get much sleep last night, as you saw. So. This should, be good. this should be good though. I get to say that I've been to New York. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that. All right, let's get to it. My train leaves at 9.30. All right, it's now just after eight o'clock and we're just about to board the Lakeshore Limited bound for New York City. I was not expecting to do this, but here we are. <laughs> With the cancellation of the Capital Limited, which follows the Baltimore and Ohio's main line to the nation's capital, the only other daily direct route to the East Coast from Chicago is a much more northerly route to New York City, known as the Lakeshore Limited. It is a much less scenic route than the Capital, and would also mean I would, I would arrive at my eventual destination at least 12 hours behind schedule, but by that point, it was my only option.
Albany, New York, the furthest place from Australia that I've ever been to, 16,994 kilometres from home, is the longest stop on the Lakeshore Limited. It's about 3pm at the moment and we're changing engines from two P42 DC locomotives to a P32 AC DM. The DM stands for dual mode which means this locomotive can go into the tunnels underneath New York City on third rail power. 18 of these locos were built specifically for the Keystone Corridor between, between here in Albany and New York City. The locomotives were built at GE Transportation Systems plant in Erie, Pennsylvania with the first order, 700 to 709, entering service in 1995, and the second order, 710 to 717, 717 is the one that is being, that is hauling our train to New York City, by the way, entering service in 1998. They replaced a fleet of FL9 locomotives that had been used since the Penn Central era of the 1970s, and even earlier than that into the Pennsylvania Railroad and New York Central era. It was now time to head south from Albany down to New York City, the Big Apple, running at 70 miles an hour along the famous Hudson River. Back in the 1940s and 50s, Hudson's, Mohawks and Niagara's all raced up and down this corridor, known as the water level route of the New York Central Railroad. I wasn't expecting to be, um, to be going to on this trip. I'm in New York City. I uh, just got off the Lakeshore Limited here in Penn Station. I'm going to walk and see some of the sights while I've got about five, six hours here. It's, it's currently just before 7 p.m. My next train is at 12:20 a.m. bound for Ashland, Virginia. So yeah, let's go see some sights while I'm at it. So this is Penn Station here, or what is known in a lot of ways as the Moynihan Train Hall and Madison Square Garden is just across the block so numerous numerous NBA games have been played there Michael Jordan's favorite stadium which is uh, pretty cool so yeah can't believe I'm actually here this is insane <laughs> Wow! Oh, I was just... Hey! 
back here when it's a bit darker. And because um, it'll, it'll look even cooler then, but even at this time of night, it looks awesome. So we're gonna go over to we're gonna go over to Grand Central Terminal and check the check the concourse of the station out. Maybe see the Chrysler and um, Empire State Building as well. Then come back here and then go back to Madison Square Garden. So. There's the Empire State Building. And in the far distance is the World Trade Center. Now, this is 42nd Street, so I have to go that way to go to Grand Central. So we'll go do that. Always wanted to see the Chrysler building, so now I have. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, time to find the Empire State Building. Well, it's pretty easy to spot. Just walking there is a bit harder. <laughs> I can't believe I'm in New York City. This is the last place I was expecting to be on this trip. Um, because, well, even yesterday I didn't know I was going to be here because of the cancellation on the Capital Limited. So, yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> get back down to the station early enough so I can get my bag back and then go to the waiting room and wait for my train for DC. I'll definitely be back in New York sometime so yeah. it's a great added bonus to have a walk around and check it out and spend a few lazy hours walking uh -oh. around ticking off some things that I've wanted to see. Mainly Midtown there's plenty of other things in the city that I wanted to see so yeah. Nah, well worth it. So the train I'm taking tonight to um, Ashland leaves here at 12.20am. Uh, <laughs> um, it's the only overnight northeast regional service and it's even got a roomette sleeping car on it. Um, 
basically you want to start in Boston you can wake up down in DC next morning um, that's basically what I'm doing but the good news is it goes all the way to Newport News which goes through Ashland which is where I have to go the, the servers is not have the night owl and I can completely understand why it's Amtrak train number 67 and uh, I can't believe I'm actually doing it this is the last call the southbound run from New York down to Ashland was via the Northeast Corridor, Amtrak's most used route between New York and Washington DC, home of the Acela Express and the Northeast Regional passenger trains. We were on a Northeast Regional, number 67, which runs from Boston down to Newport News. Because it is an overnight run, it stops in Philadelphia for three hours before continuing down to Washington DC. At speeds of 125 miles an hour, these passenger trains really rip along this section of track, but it was very hard to sleep because of the speed and the track roughness. On the night out, let's do this. I won't feel me thinking until tomorrow morning because it's going to be dark as we go on the northeast corridor, so we'll see you in the morning. Washington DC is another low code changeover point. From electric power from this ACS64 that is currently passing us, back to a P42 DC for the last run south down towards Ashland. The run between Washington DC and Richmond, Virginia and its other destinations such as Newport News and Norfolk are the only parts of the Northeast Regional System that are diesel operated out of the electric northeast corridor.
only took three weeks to get here, but my final destination of the, my trip. I was indeed finally in Ashland. 12 hours safe, 14 hours behind schedule, but I'd made it to the final destination of my trip but for the first half of my journey. However, in 48 hours, I'd only had five hours of sleep. I was absolutely stuffed. And the first thing I did after this train departed was go to the hotel and crash on the bed for a few hours.